everyone it's Nettie from I Hear You back with another video today I'm going to be showing you guys how I am making a 613 wig on my sewing machine my new sewing machine I'm going to show you guys that I have a singer uh, machine now and I'm just showing you here I'm using two 16 inch uh, 613 bundles as well as a 5x5 613 closure and I'm going to be placing that onto a beige mesh dome cap so if you're using blonde hair you want to be using a beige dome cap as well as I think they call it like an eggshell color polyester thread and for my um, hand sewing I'm going to be using my blonde nylon thread okay so we're going to go ahead and get started I'm going to be I place my beige cap onto my dome head and then I pulled out any extra cap. You wanna make sure that your cap is always flat to the canvas head. You don't wanna have any spaces or bulges in the back. Make sure that it's flat as possible. So after I pin that to the front, I'm gonna sew it down. And then I'm going to place my closure once I finish sewing that down. I'm going to go ahead and put my closure on. And I'm going to use that same um, nylon blonde thread to sew down my closure. Again, the same thing with the closure. You want to make sure that it's centered, um, that it's flat. So you want to make sure that when you pull your ends, you're pulling it all the way. You want to make sure there's no ridges and no um, like it's not lumping up or anything. You want to make sure it's flat, flat to the uh, mesh dome cap. I'm actually testing out this hair. We're trying to add 613 hair to our collection soon. So I've been testing out some hair and this hair um, by far is the best that I've had. The hair is really soft, which I like. Um, it was easy to um, style and everything. Um, other 613 hair that I tested, either the hair was like too stiff or like, um, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I guess the, the bleaching process that it has to go through, sometimes the hair doesn't, it's not like in that great of condition when they're done. So be careful when, you, when you're buying 613 hair, make sure that the hair is like flowy and like soft and it's not shedding and tangling and all that stuff. So this hair is the best that I've had so far. So hopefully we'll be able to add it to our collection soon. All right, I'm just drawing out my lines. I'm using a metallic Sharpie because my original um, Sharpie that I use, the white Sharpie, I can't see on this cap. So I'm just using the metallic one. And I'm gonna go ahead and draw out some lines. If you guys, if you haven't seen my um, how to make a wig video, you should go ahead and go check that out. Um, I have a very detailed video on how to create um, a wig very detailed so you can check that out I do make less lines than I originally um, did I find that it's just much better my units come out so much flatter and I like it better okay guys so I'm gonna be doubling just one track I only have two bundles so I'm doubling one track and then I'm going to single I mean, I'm doubling one bundle sorry and I'm going to be um, I'm gonna single track the other bundle And check out the, um, the my previous video on how to make a wig. You can see in detail how to double tracks if you need to learn how to do that. And if you guys notice, I'm using a new machine. 
So I have a Singer heavy duty machine now. I was previously using the Brothers machine in the other video, which I really love so much and it's very beginner friendly. I do recommend getting the Brother machine if you're starting because it's easier to use. I had to switch over because the other machine stopped working. So instead of buying a Brother machine, I decided to get a more um, heavy duty machine because I was, I've been making a lot more wigs now. So this wig is really good. If you, when your business picks up, and you're making more wigs, definitely, um, you know, when you, if you need to upgrade your machine, definitely go with the Singer Heavy Duty. It's more powerful. I'm able to make wigs faster and everything. I did have to learn how to use this, this machine because at the beginning, <laughs> forget it. It was like giving me so much problems. I'm just showing you the settings. I'm using the zigzag stitch. My length is always at four. My width is always at six. And my tension, I believe is at seven. So I keep those settings on there. That works. Um, right now, that, that's what works. My wigs are coming out good because in the beginning, they weren't. I had to really learn, sit down and relearn how to make wigs on this machine and how to fix my settings. If you'd like to see a detailed video um, of me making wigs on this machine just let me know in the comments below I'll be more than happy to share that process because I know this machine is a little bit different from the other machine and if you're trying to make wigs on this machine and you need a little bit of help let me know I'll make a detailed video showing you how to lay your tracks down I'm just placing my cap, my um, wig tag down on my cap. And I'm just showing you there. I already placed a couple of um, tracks. I'm gonna put the cap onto the dome head just so you can see how the tracks are laying nice and flat. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and continue making this wig. And I'm showing you, I'm up at the top. I'm almost done. singling my tracks up there this wig came out so nice let me tell you guys so I wind up coloring this wig as you can see in the thumbnail I colored it orange my original plan was to just tone the blonde to like an ash blonde and do dark roots I've never done that before so I wanted to do that on this wig just to get a little bit of practice especially since we're going to be adding the 613 um, hair so I wanted to get a little practice and I wanted to do that and that didn't happen instead I wind up um, coloring this wig orange but let me tell you I absolutely love the way the color came out and it's fall right now and I have this orange wig to wear and yo, it is fire So I'm pretty much almost done. I'm just, I'm putting the last track around the closure. I'm um, just like in my previous video, I told you guys, I always co um, connect the last track to the closure. This is how she came out. She looked really good. So I'm just showing you guys. I went into the coloring and I was like, you know what? Let me just show you guys how I colored this wig. So I went on and I just kept recording. 
and I'm going to show you here. I'm using the um, I'm using two Adore colors, Orange Blaze and the Cajun Spice. So right here, I'm using the Orange Blaze to paint on the, um, the and I'm painting on the color to the closure, to the roots, because I don't like to. I'm doing the watercolor method for this color, and I don't like to dunk my closure because I don't like the color to be on the lace. So I'm painting on the orange blaze to the roots of the closure. And then I'm going to take the rest of the wig and we're going to do the watercolor method. Oh, and I did uh, wet the hair a little bit. I took my spray bottle and I did wet the hair just a little, just to make it damp before I started to put the color on. Now make sure that I use this comb catch the roots. I haven't done many watercolor um, wigs and I was really happy with the way that this came out. So I can't wait to experience, experience, you know, experiment with other colors. Okay, so now I have the color over um, the whole closure. So all the roots are colored. So now I'm going to take this wig and we're going to dunk this wig in some colored water. So I'm just putting a little bit of hot water into this basin and you don't need a lot of water. I'm just showing you, I was trying to show you, I did not use a lot of water, just a little bit because the more water you use, the more color you have to use, you know, and the name of the game here is to use less product. You want to save money, especially if you're running a business. You don't want to use 20 bottles of coloring. You don't need to. Okay. So I'm going to tell you exactly what I use. So I'm just wetting the hair before I put the color into the water. This is the orange blaze and you can see there was not much in the bottle. There was like already, it was already like half full and I used half of half of that to put onto the closure. So I just put whatever was left. And then here I'm adding a full bottle of orange blaze. So I put a full bottle in, I'm going to mix it up and then I'm going to dunk. Make sure you mix it up really good. Then I'm going to start to dunk the hair in. And then the color is going to start to deposit onto the hair. I wanted it a little bit darker so I took um, another bottle of orange blaze and I just put a few squirts in and then I mixed it up. And then I um, dunked the wig again. to get the sides and everything else without putting my um, I don't need to put the closure in because it already has color on it so after I was done with that I went ahead and I um, put uh, fresh some fresh water in and I put some fresh hot water in and then I put the Cajun uh, spice color and 
and then I'm going to go ahead and dunk that in. I want the um, ends of the hair to be darker. So we're going to use that Cajun spice. It's going to go into like a darker orange. Okay, so that was one bottle and now I'm going to put a little bit more of another bottle in. So all together I use like one and a half bottles of each color. Maybe even less. And I'm using that brush to get the color through. So I can have a nice transition. And then I'm done. Okay. So here, it's like a couple days later, I actually um, had let this wig dry because I had something else to do, so I didn't get a chance to finish it. So it's a couple days later, and the wig is dry. This is the color, oh my goodness. <laughs> it is so bright and beautiful. So I'm just doing a little bit of plucking. Nothing crazy. Just a little bit of plucking. And guys, I have been practicing my plucking. Um, if you're practicing, I do have a video, on, a detailed video on how I, how I pluck. And I have been um, mastering that technique and plucking, plucking, plucking. And the last few weeks that I sent out to my customers were like fire. Like I was so happy with the hairline and the customers were really happy. And I was just like, all right, you know, just keep working at it. Just keep practicing. You get it. I'm just blow drying out the hair because I do I wet the hair when I'm plucking. And then I do, and I'm curling this wig, so I do like to blow dry my wigs before I start curling. Even if it's dry, I blow it out a little bit. I just think it gives it a little bit more volume. So I'm just gonna blow it out, and then we're gonna get ready to style. I'm gonna use some heat protectant and some um, serum on the hair. And I'm just going to use a one inch curler to put some curls. It's a short wig, it's 16 inches. So I want to put some nice um, curls in it. You can see how the um, orange goes into that darker bright orange goes right into that darker orange. Nice ombre effect. I love watching styling videos. If you guys want to see me like um, style hair, if you're looking for um, trying to learn how to style, let me know. I'll do that. Show you like the products I use, the whole process that goes into styling. This is how she looks, guys. Oh my gosh, look at those curls. She came out so nice. And I was just I was really happy with the color. Like I said, I haven't done many watercolor methods and I was really happy with this. And um, follow us on Instagram. You know, I'm gonna be wearing this unit. Follow us on Instagram, I'll leave the Instagram below. And 
um, you can just check it out, see how it, how the hair looks and everything. It looks great. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I want to welcome all of our new subscribers. We have gained more subscribers in the last couple of weeks that we're really, really thankful for. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time.